Hey everyone, this is John and today is the last video I will be doing on answering interview questions. However, in the next video I will discuss with you some good questions you can ask the employer at the end of your interview. But for now, let's get started on this question here. It is, where do you see yourself in five years? So here the interviewer wants to see what your career goals are and how this will fit with the company. And when answering this question, you don't need to be super specific, but you also don't want to be too general either. So things to talk about. I think the first and most important thing is to show that you are committed to this job. So even if you are unsure if this job is right for you, and maybe you only want to work here for one year or two years, it's best not to mention that to the employer. Um, to show that you are committed, you can say that you are looking for a career job. So this is a long-term job and that you're also looking for the opportunity to advance to roles with greater responsibilities. And lastly, you can mention some general career skills that you hope to learn. So you don't need to mention a lot of skills you hope to gain. Maybe like two or three is enough because you actually don't know what you can achieve in just five years. And as well as this, I'd also say it's good to mention that you want to master or become very good at the job that you are currently applying for and then you will make the career advancement so get a promotion after that and this is especially true for any job that does not have a lot of opportunities for career advancement or it's very difficult to get a promotion so things to avoid saying firstly you don't want to mention that you will be working for a different job or different company in the next five years. So companies always want to hire a long-term employee and saying that you only want to work here for a few years is not a good thing because hiring new employees costs money and it takes time. You don't want to be really specific and mention all the details about the job that you'll have and what you hope to do. And for example, if you were saying that you hope to be really high up in the company and be making big decisions and you want to learn and master 12 new skills that can seem very unrealistic and unachievable and therefore the employer may think that you are not a good fit and then the last point here is not having any idea at all about what role or what you want to do in the future also not a good idea so I have an example here, what you want to do or what do you want to achieve in five years? You can start the answer off with something simple like this. Right now, I hope to find a company or a job where I can grow and take on new challenges over time. So this is quite a simple way to start off your answer and it shows your desire to improve yourself. And then you follow it up with, eventually I'd like to have more management responsibilities as well as getting involved in blank. So this could be anything specific to the job that you're applying for. And I think this is good because we have not mentioned too many roles. You can just mention two or three again. And then the last part for me, the most important thing is that I want to work for an organization where I can build a career. So this is good because they've said about how they want to stay at the company for a long time. And then I think you can also add to this answer about how you hope to excel or do very good at the current position you're applying for and then make those career advancements. So you could say, I hope to be seen as a person that other people will go to if they have questions or if they need help. And that's everything for today. If you have any questions you want to ask me, you can send me an email. And thank you very much for listening.